welcome to Spring 2012. We're going to talk about colors, about print, and all the trends we saw for spring. Um, I've been doing this for a very long time. I'm the senior uh, fashion director for Ready to Wear at Neiman Marcus and Bergdorf Women. So I look at all the collection. We just finished buying fall 2012. So I had to remind you a little bit about trend for spring. Um, but we're going to start right away with what was the most important uh, story for spring. It was colors. Colors was everywhere on the runway. That was the biggest news. If you've been walking the floor, you've kind of seen all those great colors. And the most interesting colors we've seen was pink. Um, all these kind of shades of pink. So we're going to start with Jackie. And here she's in Chanel, a little pale pink. I love these dresses, very ladylike. And just with the little white jackets. See, mixing the different shade of pink here in a bag is a little bit deeper pink with a little pale um, baby pink. And I like the accent of silver shoes. Silver shoes were everywhere on the runway and it's a good kind of new neutral um, to pair all these. And the bracelet she's wearing is Alexis Vitor. And the glasses, we, today we have a special appearance by the representative of Barton Pereira. This is a new More collection to show you here. Um, there's several ways to wear pink. You can wear your head to toe, like in these uh, dresses, for example, here from Valentino. This is a really great dress for work or for great luncheons. Uh, and you can do head to toe and match it, match it in the same colors in the little coat here from Valentino. But if you don't feel comfortable being head to toe pink, there's just, you can wear, for example, this is kind of a blush little sweaters from Valentino and this is so just so beautiful look at the lace treatment on the sleeve it's more blush and you can easily wear this back to white pants white skirt or black uh, bottom too so you know just wearing a little accent of pink just kind of really up update you on, on your wardrobe again here it's from Lanvin it's a little tweed jacket easy um, wear this over jeans or colorful pants or the fancy pants of the season but just here you've got some hint of pink also in the feet. And then as I was saying, colorful bottom where, uh, everywhere throughout the store. So here it's in the jeans and here you can wear really kind of a bright bottom and then you just wear little sweaters back to it in a different colors and here you've got the casual look of the season. About being more sportive, all inspired by the athletic wear. If you want to look close to this fabric, this is a scuba fabric. This is from Stella McCartney, and this is the perfect little black dress to me. Just got a little sleeve, and it just like all you in. When you, if you want to feel this fabric later, when I bring back the rags and the clothes, uh, please do. She's wearing Christian Louboutin pump, the mosaic black and white, and the little new bag from Chanel with the accent of pink on the black. Miller. So you see really taking from that world, that sports world, and then it's not about being casual, it's just taking some element of sports and making it more dressy. Category, there is really a lot of like embellished sweatshirts. This is from Donna Karen, and it's a trend we're seeing going forward into fall. I like the element of sequins here, and just you're not gonna go exercise with it, but you're just gonna, you're just gonna be having the look, the casual look of the season. Again, that's Cuba influence with piping. This is from Hervé Léger. So this is not sport, but it's got this inspiring of the binding on each side. And again, taking the inspirations from sports, but also you're not gonna go exercise in those shorts, but look at these great little, done, these are still sport shorts, but they're done in a lace, so a little bit more dressy with the drawstring. Another big trend that was on the runway is the jog pants. So here's from Stella McCartney. It's got the drawstring and you wear it with high heel and a great little shirt. And these are very, very cool. So I have this one from Stella. And here from Roberto Cavalli. See, it was the side stripe and these are done in silk. So it's kind of that loungy, kind of slashy and you wear it with your high heel. Oh, you, and then you can put a little jacket on top, the little motorcycle jacket. So this is the item. And I love this one in the eyelet in more like in the beige. Chris, 
This look was on the runway. I love the little bomber jacket. Bomber jacket is an item. It's everywhere. For four, we've seen it everywhere. It's a mat, uh, mix of leather and canvas. A little pencil skirt. She's wearing a clutch from Prada. Prada did a whole kind of inspired from racetrack, so all the cars uh, are on the bags and on the and shoes. Other than the, the, the pink, the other big story was yellow, and we call yellow the new neutral. It's You pair yellow back to beige, to pale pink, and think of a yellow as really a, a neutral of, of your wardrobe that you built around it. Um, I like yellow when it's very subtle, like this, on this t-shirt here from uh, Stella McCarthy. You just see the little element of beading on the beige, but I just love these two combinations and I just think yellow is great wearing as a neutral. Here is from Philip Lim. Again, you've got a, a hint of yellow underneath, but if you're not a big yellow person, it's just a good way to wear the, the, the season trend just in the, in the most subtle way. <laughs> and then if you're bold enough, these are from Acris, and these are leather. These are like amazing, and and then you wear them with back to a white shirt or head to toe yellow. Actually, is great too. But these are just amazing. Here's yellow. This is from Raoul. The Raoul representative is here today across the aisle. If you want to go say hi to her, um, the dress is white and yellow. I love it here. Just a hint of yellow pale brush. and all the jewelry are from Alexis Bitar. And look at her shoes. These are serious shoes for Christian Louboutin. No purple. For a lady like kind of little dress, a great little luncheon for all the events you have in spring. The element of yellow, it's just the perfect little madman dress. And that's a great way to wear yellow. Back to a white jeans. Here from Rachel Zoe. And here again from Rachel Zoe. Just a great. It's a great, perfect spring and summer look. Oh, this one from Alice and Olivia. With the pleated, with the pleated sleeve. All right, this look is from Actress also. And if you want to take your little jacket, which is blush colors, if you want to take your jacket off, I just want to show the whole look. I love this look. This is from Acris. And look at these silk pants, back to that shirt. The front is yellow, the back is nude. It's just a great lounging pants. They're all kind of like pyjama dressing for day. It's really in, what the cool girl are wearing in the magazines. The clutch here in patent leather is from Rachel Zoe. This is from Tia. I love this dress. This dress is absolutely beautiful. And there's a lot of beading, so you get your exercise when you wear it too. It's just so beautiful. You, you pair it back some silver shoes and just a great look for evening. And then from going to the dot, to the to the stripe, here from uh, Miss Sony. So I like the also the black and the white, and that's another trend we saw a lot on the runway. And it's a good alternative to, to all the color we see. Jackie? The whole look is from Givenchy. Uh, this is a little anorak. Anorak repairing every look on the runway for spring. So it's really your topper of choice for this season. Put an anorak on a dressy look or put an anorak on a more casual look and you really have the look of the season. You want to take your little jacket off? And this is from Givenchy, the skirt. So here again, that Hawaiian print I'm talking about, that floral. And look at this great little top. She's wearing a little bag from Alexander Wang with the color of the season and the shoes are, the little pumps are from uh, Louboutin. Last trend was tribal, which um, uh, was inspired by several inspiration from around the world, but also, you know, there was like some of the 20s inspiration, the art decos, the fringe, so a little bit of all that world. So animal print is still very important. This is from Joie. This is a little blouse and just like very subtle animal print, but that can be wear. And then I love this dress. This is from Balenciaga. So you got that kind of tribal inspiration. 
but just a, just a great dress and just with great color here again the pop of yellow. You can come in. This is from Balenciaga talking about tribal. Look at the shoes here from Valentino again with the little stud. But it's mix, mixing the pattern and mixing the colors. This is from Valentino. A beautiful organza shirt with all the embroidery. So see, Tribal is just taking you to a whole new place. It's all about the treatment of the fabric and the way the clothes are designed. Here's more of that Tribal. This is from Donna Karen. I like the top pants. Here's that Tribal print on the sweater. It's a very casual look. And see, she makes it back to some silver shoes and the look work. She's wearing a, a new clutch from Runway from Fendi. It's an amazing bag if you look at it closely. We have several downstairs, six in that collection. And then one last look here, again from Hervé Léger in kind of that zebra print. Just a great dress for evening. So I think we have a couple of more look of the girls coming out. But I'm gonna show you a couple of accessories, what's in this season. As I say, the silver shoes is probably the most important uh, color of metallic this season because with all these colors that's what goes back to every colors so these are sparkly we got some matte shoes here from Yves Saint Laurent and again they go back to every colors and it's kind of a way to wear the colors it's back with a necklace <laughs> the jewelry here are from Rosé and uh, Maria Barrera and I just like the color they play on the jewelry. So we have a lot of jewelry here from them. These little flowers here. Roberto Cavalli, I love this dress. Here again in the shade of pink of the season. Look at the sparkly shoes from Louboutin, that rose gold. And she's wearing a clutch from Chanel. There was a lot of the Art Deco influence on the runway. And see this kind of old treatment. This could be like a 1920 clutch and bags. In the color again of the season. This is just so pretty. And it's got sleeve and it's just a great cocktail dress. This is Roberto Cavalli on the third floor. So this is a wrap up of our trend. Um, so remember, we got pink, we got yellow, we got prints, we got fancy pants, we got tribal, some black and white, and some sports element. And if you get all this, your look will be updated for the season. Uh, silver shoe, a clutch, and a gold earring. So these are all the trend of spring. I'll be here if you need me, and enjoy your lunch. Thank you.